In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do SD card recovery. So if you're having an issue with accessing the files or the files may have been deleted uh, from the SD card, we're going to go ahead and, and retrieve those, those files. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the link that's below this video. And in this case, it's recovermyfilesnow.com. And it'll take you to this page where you can you can download the software for free. So go ahead and click on the free download and get that installed. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll run a scan on that drive and see if those files can be recovered. And there's no cost to run a scan. So let's go ahead and see if we can get those files recovered first. So after you download it, go ahead and get, uh, get it installed and, and get the software launched. This is what you'll see on the first screen. And there's a few different options here. You can, um, under the scan tab, we can do a quick scan, a full scan, a guided scan. And I'll show you what we're going to do in just a minute to get access to the SD card. Um, we have an advanced tab, which, which allows you to, to be a little more um, detailed as far as how you run the scan. Um, there's also an email tab. If, if, if it's email related, um, say it's even on a hard drive and you have a problem accessing some um, old emails, that will help you out with that. So the first thing we're going to want to do is, in this case, is make sure you have your SD card installed. Uh, well, not installed necessarily, but put in, in, your, in your slot and make sure uh, you can see it in Windows Explorer, okay? Because that's the first thing you want to make sure that, that the that the SD card's loaded, you can see it in Windows Explorer. And then the next thing we're going to do is once you launch the software here, let's click Guided Scan, okay, and then click the Start Scan button here on the right. So what we want to do is it gives you different options. So you can do it from a hard drive, you can do lost emails, but in this case we want to recover items from an external drive, which would be our SD card. So Windows recognizes the SD card as an external drive. So in this case, I know from looking in Windows Explorer that the SD card is, is it's assigned it as a K drive in my case. Now, it may not be that in yours. It could be a, an F drive or a G drive or whatever. That's why I was mentioning to make sure you, you see where it lands as far as uh, in Windows Explorer. So in this, case, uh, in, in this case, it's drive K. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start the scan. And right now, so far, it's found 61 different items. I want to show you. K. In this K drive right now, there's nothing in there. So those files had already been removed. So in this case, when it says 61 files, it's actually 61 files that are recoverable that used to be on that SD card. So in this case um, we can go ahead and we can see that there's some images here um, that used to be on this drive that we can recover. So what you want to do is select the images that you that you want. So if, if it's uh, it's got this nice handy little preview feature here which helps you you know I mean, a lot of times we don't have our files and our pictures named you know Koala maybe image 256 or you know whatever it is. Um, I know that's the way most of the images that I upload from my camera or from my smartphone, they tend to have some goofy names. So this just helps you figure out which, which file you want to get. So once you, once you figure out the files that you want to re recover, you go ahead and select those. So we'll select, let's say the first four. We want those. Um, then we'll go ahead and cancel the scan because I know those are the files that I want. What it does, it, it'll you don't have to wait for the scan to complete. It'll keep running and, and looking deeper and deeper onto the SD card to see if it can find the files. But once you once you see the files that you want, you can go ahead and hit cancel. Okay, and in this case we're going to get those four files we just uh, mentioned. And then we hit the recover button. Okay, and boom. There it is. It's in the recovered files. And I put the folder over here in Windows. You can see it. I put it on the desktop. And those four files are now in the recovered folder. So um, it's it, it's pretty simple 
pretty easy, um, not too complex, um, but th this is really about the easiest way you can go about recovering files. And again, downloading the software gives you the free scan. You can see if the files are there. And then once you register the software, you can run the recover uh, function, and those files will appear in that folder. So it's it, that's about as e easy as it gets. So we'll talk again soon. Thanks.